This is the night both sets of supporters have been waiting for. Not long now until kickoff on match day one in the Champions League. Who will get off to a positive start with all three points? We'll have every kick of the ball for you live on EA TV. And for our live coverage, we find ourselves in Donetsk at the Donbass Arena. I'm Derek Ray here in the commentary position, and joining me will be Lee Dixon. And this is where it all starts in the UEFA Champions League. The group stage and match day one. My goodness, so much to look forward to. It is Shakhtar Donetsk up against Portsmouth. Well, the first group stage of the Champions League is always exciting. Three points is vital for both teams to get off to a good start. Or a draw may be a good result as well. We're about to find out what happens. today for the hosts and this is a formation most people in the game are very familiar with nowadays yeah most coaches are adopting this formation what it does give you is two holding players in front of the back four to protect them but it also gives you three supporting players to that central striker well, really in this great competition there's been continuity since season 2003-2004 the same format remember there used to be a second group stage once upon a time Lee well they did and simply it didn't work I think the, uh, the the format now is certainly a lot better it's a bit more exciting a bit earlier in the competition it seemed to drag on a bit that second phase didn't it let's dissect the Portsmouth starting 11 Enjoy the this particular setup is becoming more and more in favor yes Derek one central striker two wingers will provide the width a very narrow three in midfield Back four, the two full-backs will be expected to support, but also defend and help out the centre-backs. On the ball, Conor Plianka. And the cross not quite imaginative enough. Well, they've lost possession of the ball. Verscharen. Tonali with it. Thunders clear. Match day one in the Champions League. Always exciting. And as soon as the teams were drawn into this particular group, we all thought, my goodness, that's a hard one to predict the outcome of. Oh, wow, well, the so-called group of death. It really is a competitive one, this one. Imperative, you get off to a good start. You don't want to be playing catch-up when there's two teams like that ahead of you. It's there for him! And that came off the defender, so it'll be a corner. Played into the centre of the box. Just couldn't capitalise there. Well, who will be the player to decide the outcome, to determine the course of events? No reason at all why it won't be this man, Lee. What do you anticipate seeing from him? Well, as soon as you start putting the ball in the net, three goals in the last three games, that breeds confidence. And when you've got a player that sharp in front of goal, he's a huge asset to the team. And no-nonsense defensive clearance. Corner kick played over. Well, body in the way. Well, he took care of it defensively. Verscharen might really be able to trouble them here. That effort, wayward to say the least, Lee. Well, it's all about his body shape. Look what he's doing.
Alessandro Tonali. Really sitting deep now. That could be problematic. Now, let's see what they can do here. An important interception. Tremendous intuition to win it back. He's found a pocket of space. Sandro Tonari. And just like that, they've lost possession. Tonali with it. Vasharin. Still pushing for that goal that would see them forge ahead. Dangerous looking attack. It's opening up for them. Portsmouth have dominated possession. They've had the ball for the last 15 minutes. He takes aim. Off the post and back in play. Well, you do feel, Derek, with the pressure they're putting on this team, a goal will come. They can't get much closer than that, can they? Tonali with it. News of a goal on the PSG game. Alan McAnally has the details. It's a second goal for Paris Saint-Germain. 27 minutes played, 2-0. Thanks as ever for the update, Alan. Esposito. Can he give them the lead? against the post but back in play it looked as though he might have been onside but he was just a fraction off oh I'm not so sure I'd like to see that again promising sequence cutting in what can he do from this position really good reading of the game to win possession back Marishev Extremely sloppy in possession. He's got the right idea with that pass. The opening goal, due reward for their efforts. Well, they've made the pressure count. They really deserve this lead. Well, here it is again. It's just a perfectly weighted ball in behind and not a bad finish either. Great goal. Well, the goal again, albeit from a different angle. One nil then. Far from a good pass. Tonali with it. Well, that's a splendid piece of challenging. And that's very good refereeing to let the play flow. What can he do from here? He must finish! Crucial intervention just then amid impending danger. Vasharin. Oh, my goodness, he was right on top of the situation to get the ball back for his team. A sloppy pass. It is to be a throw in. Sitting ever deeper. Vasharin. Sandro Tonali. Well, pass after pass. Maybe they can chisel an opportunity. A case of foiling the opposition by whatever means. It's with Maicon. Is that for the first half here?
And so the second half of this Champions League group stage match day one contest commences. And he was in the right place to intercept. Bailey, he has plenty of support. Esposito giving it a try. Almost what you might call a jaw dropping save. Oh, he's got no right to make that save. It's absolutely fantastic. And over comes the corner. Opportunity to deliver the cross. Useful cross towards the near post. And a no nonsense clearance. Alert defending. That is how to apply the pressure. Might be able to get in behind the defence. Can he put it away? They've gone and scored again. They're doing everything in their power to make sure they're not pegged back. Well, it's good play. Ian Wright always told me, stand in the middle of the goal. It sounds simple, but you don't have to get a lot of goals from that position. Well, let's go back to the goal that was scored. So, 2-0 now. Possession changes hands, the interception there. Possession for Portsmouth, no problem. Really starting to dictate the tempo of this game now. And they're creating chances as well. I'm not sure their opponents seem to have the answer, to be honest. They can't seem to get a foothold in this game. Sandro Tonali. On and on he goes. Can he make it count? chance well just to point you in the right direction we have more live action from the Premier League coming up here on EA TV it's Portsmouth taking on Newcastle United yeah Derek should be a great atmosphere there it's what I would be tuning in for if I wasn't there with you my goodness that same fully straight He was one for his own highlights reel. Well, he's given a corner, the referee. So the corner played into the box. Well, he failed to get it away properly. And he did what he had to do defensively. And close with that one, Lee, but just couldn't keep the shot down. Yeah, the keeper's beaten, but so is the goal. And news coming in of a goal at the Parc des Princes. Here's Alan McAnally. It's a third goal for Paris Saint-Germain. 63 minutes played, 3-0. Alan McAnally with his finger on the pulse. Versharin. Well, I think many of you will have been wondering where the story was going, but we can tell you now the transfer business has been done. Fabian has completed his move to Chelsea. Well, Derek, I've heard the fees around £55 million. Will he finish? Just had to keep his concentration to the maximum, and he did. The referee has given a corner. But he's gone short with it. Well, that's how to do it inside your own penalty area. Sandro Tonali. Now, do they mean business on this occasion? Tonali with it. Tremendous intuition to win it back. Upamecano. We're now inside the final 20 minutes of the game. It is a decent looking attack here. He's had to go for it. Wins the ball. 
A chance for them to provide a test in the form of a corner. Fruitful looking attack. Well, the bar can be the goalkeeper's best friend. And he takes on the shot. Wonderful block. Well, he'd be looking at that and thinking, how did he not score? I'm not so sure either, Derek. Sandro Tonali. I just couldn't keep the ball. Well, I understand there's been a goal at the Parc des Princes. Alan McAnally. It's another goal for Paris Saint-Germain. 76 minutes played, 4-0. Many thanks, Alan. And it's gone out of play. Goal kick coming up. Sandro Tonali. Excellent use of the ball as they make their way forward. Got to it easily, the keeper. Given away. Sandro Tonali. The delivery. Tonali with it. It looks promising. And a pretty straightforward stop for the goalkeeper there. Yeah, weak shot straight at him. No problem for the goalie. It is to be a throw-in. Oh, nice ball. And space for the cross. An utterly disappointing cross. Goal kick. And five minutes to go. Extremely sloppy in possession. Kupa Meccano. Not much defensive cover there on the flank. Sandro Tonali. Verschaven. Giving the ball to the opposition that time. Take the chance. As indicated, there will be a minimum of three minutes of time. Crossed accurately towards the far post. I'll tell you what, when the keeper looks lost as he was there, you've got to be ruthless. Well, big target, big chance, big flop. He's going forward well here. Real danger. And scope for the cross. Not to be in terms of the cross there. And that's it.